Hello guys, welcome back to the catalog series, video number four. This is my, uh, probably my special one yet. It's my case catalog. It's from, uh, 1956. This one is marked, thankfully, compared to the other three I filmed. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This was probably my most expensive catalog, costing around like fifty dollars total. But I think it was, I think it was kind of worth it in a way. You don't see many case catalogs on there, so I think this was uh, worth the money. Besides, it's Christmas money, so who cares? This is a uh, colors. Never heard of Alliance before. Case one piece. So there's like four different types of flushing. Systems to have trial point designs. This one's for low boys. Siphon jet. First trap. And wash time. Here are the two one pieces, thousand and eleven thousand. Thousand round ball, the uh, eleven thousand is uh, elongated. The Lux Water Saver, which is well, I think my ball is. This is a 1965 model. It's either a Deluxe or a Camel. I can't really tell much. Can't really differentiate it because this is a later version. Obviously. But this is either a Deluxe or a Camel. And I'll show the difference between those in this catalog. Elongated, this is round. So you'll notice on this uh, catalog, again, uh, results may vary on each version. This one has a more kind of a compact style. As you can tell with the tank, the base is also uh, square. So I say don't rely on the bases too much. It's kind of an easy way to identify what kind of toilet it is. But the uh, base types are varying. Set. I never told if in one filmed one of these at like a salvage yard, but it has the same uh, coin seed trapway as this. It's basically like a one piece deluxe. I forgot to mention that this little passageway, which you can also. Uh, can't really see it on this one, but you can see it on this one. Those passageways are what feed the siphon jet. There's actually two. You can also notice on this one too, that passageway right there, that's what feeds the siphon jet. There's one on the left and right side. And it, you know, comes from the tank area. So that's what that... That's what those passages are. The camel. Now this is the. Now this is the the other model that you can get confused on between the deluxe and the camel. You can tell this one has kind of like a more universal design 
for the tank and the base is more like a flat octagonal style. So it's really hard to identify the difference between a camel and a deluxe. Because they're literally the, kind of like the same thing, just the style's different. This one has like a more elegant design. And the, uh, well I'll show it again. The deluxe is more of a compact kind of style. So, my toilet, my case is a mystery. This one's classified as a reverse trap. And this one, I think is classified as a siphon jet. Actually, it's a central action going to the, to the, uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. But, yeah. I guess the same trap way as the deluxe. Which is what Michael has, the course you trap. And then there's a banning. I don't think anyone has found this yet. Has more of like a flatter base compared to some other case uh uh four four traps. And also it's the same tank as a camel, pretty much. Here are the uh, Trojan models. It's a regular Trojan. And a Trojan Junior. Really kind of like the only differences between those two is that this one is 15 inches high and uh, this one's 13 inches high. So, standard Junior. It's a wall jet. I think uh, Kamoka Painted filmed like a blowout version, if I recall correctly. And uh, Fittish, uh, and Toilet's RC has filmed a couple, a few of these. I'll link them in the description. Here's a bite. Look at that. El Dorado. Long toys, which essentially sinks. Pardon the noise outside.
from legs. So yeah, Kate, Case also made urinals. Those are the Casco washdown models. You can kind of tell they're kind of like uh, standard wash shells. And uh, oddly enough, all these are called Casco. This is a uh, style urinal. There's the uh, there's the washdown urinals, which are shown off in the beginning of the section. And here's the uh, the bottom outlet, the washdown. You can definitely tell it's similar to like a standard bearing. This this one's not featured in this catalog, so I guess they discontinue it around that this time or so. But there's also a pedestal urinal, also co called Casco. So there's that. There are these strainers for the Casco uh, stall urinals. And then the uh, case one pieces again. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, there will be one more video going out later today. It will be uh, around, you know, New Year's Day. So, I guess you can figure out what that is. If not, um, well, you'll just have to figure out. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and uh, see you next year.